now going to demonstrate how to place a 1104B series fiber optic catheter. Of course, in your hospital setting, this would be a sterile procedure, but for demonstration purposes, I won't be wearing a glove or hat or mask. So there's a couple of things you're gonna need. You're going to need to have your Camino fiber optic catheter kit, and you'll also need a cranial access kit. In your 1104B series catheter kit, you'll find your fiber optic catheter. You'll also find your drill bit, the bolting system, a hex wrench, and your zeroing tool. You'll prep the patient like you normally would, and you will find the landmark where you want to access into the, in through the skull. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is make your stab incision through the scalp, and then you're gonna to need to open up that skull. So to do that, you wanna use the drill bit that comes in the catheter kit. So the bit in the kit will make the bolt fit. So we're going to use the hex wrench, and this is simply to set the depth of your skull. Of course, this would go into your hand drill. And for demonstration purposes, I've already created the hole through the skull cap here. The next thing that you're gonna need to do is open the dura, and that can simply be done with an 18 gauge needle or a spinal needle, whatever's convenient for you in your cranial access kit. Then you'll want to place your bolt. You'll pick the bolted system up exactly as it is in your kit, and it, screw that into the skull itself. Now we want to zero the catheter. And you'll do that using your zeroing tool, just as you would any of the other fiber optic catheters. Once your catheter is zeroed, now we want to go ahead and place it. After zeroing the 1104 BT fiber optic catheter, You'll want to slide the strain relief sheath back so that you can clearly see the markings on the catheter. And you can see here where the double line is, that's the five centimeter mark. And where we really wanna put our fingers is between the six and seven centimeter mark. So I'm just gonna do that now. Then I'll use the other hand and I'm gonna loosen the compression cap and remove that stylet. Then I'm gonna slide this catheter down through the bolt housing until my fingers touch. I'll pull back slightly, just two or three millimeters. Tighten the compression cap above the strain relief sheath. Slide this down and snap it into place. And you should see that red dot right around the etched area of the strain relief sheath, and that indicates to me that I know the catheter is in proper placement. After placing the catheter, you can go ahead and connect it up to the Camino monitor. The black pressure portion attaches here, and just snaps right in. It first says the catheter is initializing, and then we're gonna look for a waveform. This particular catheter also allows for temperature. So I'll take this red cap off and I'm gonna align the three dots. And now I'll have temperature showing also. And that concludes placing the 1104BT catheter. <laughs>